All right, hey, Enix Sears here, founder and publisher of Business of Architecture and a business strategist for architects, which basically means I help architecture firm owners grow a more impactful and profitable architecture practice. Now, in this quick little video, I wanna share with you a tip for marketing your architecture firm for free and getting very, very high quality potential clients to call you. So first I wanna tell you a quick story. I was talking with a buddy of mine who just came back from a trip to China. And he said that this entire trip to China, including, so we live in California, including airfare, including the hotel, and including half their food, including their breakfasts, and a lot of the different excursions, was only 500 US dollars. Now normally if they would have had to pay the full fare for that, it might have been $1,500 or more. And so I was just blown away by how inexpensive this trip was. He was telling me about all the cool experiences he had, going to the Great Wall of China, going to Shanghai, going to Beijing. Uh, but then he said something interesting that really caught my ear, and it deals with the topic of today's video. He mentioned that as part of the uh, the tours that they went on, they had to go to particular, uh, let's say, um, uh, factories that they had to visit or particular stops, right? So we know, um, you know, when you go to Cancun or some of these other resort places, you can get these little free presentations for timeshares or what have you. Well, very similar to that, uh, for this particular tour, uh, my friend Nick, he had to go to these different factories, like a pearl factory, a handbag factory, a factory where they made jade jewelry. And he said it was it was actually all very interesting. They got to learn things. They saw about the manufacturing process. And he said you could opt out of them and pay an extra fee. Um, so here's, and I thought that was brilliant because here we have this company uh, is is basically subsidizing the tourists from America, from the United States, from wherever that go visit China by having relationships with other companies and other businesses that provide services that these people might like. So my friend talked about how his wife bought this very beautiful little jade bracelet. Um, he ended up getting a few things himself. So let's go back to this. So this, this business strategy uh, is called by the great business thinker Jay Abraham calls this a host beneficiary relationship. What that means is if we think about like a host and a parasite, well it's not actually a parasite because it's not killing the host, it's actually benefiting both parties. In this case, the host of this relationship would be the tour company that gets the people to book and gets them over to China. And then the beneficiary would be of course the factories who are actually kind of latching on to that relationship and being able to expose what they're offering to all these tourists. Now here's why this, this is so powerful. Because if someone's gonna spend the money to travel to China, you already know that they're the kind of person who's gonna to wanna to buy stuff. Because people who travel have disposable income. And so this is a brilliant marketing strategy for this company, and they're able to add some value to the tourists, right? Because they're able to go to these factories, they're able to see behind the scenes of how these things are produced, and they're able to buy some additional gifts or trinkets or what have you for their way home. Now, how does this relate to you as an architecture firm owner? Sure, you're not gonna be you know, forcing people to go to a factory or anything like that, but the question is, who in your network could be either a potential host or a potential beneficiary for you to strengthen your network and to be able to give you free marketing? Right? If you can team up with someone who's exposed to your potential kind of clients and has those relationships, find a way to build a relationship with that person. It can be literally priceless because they can send you a constant and consistent flow of referrals of your ideal clients. I'm going to give you one example of an architecture firm owner I know that lives in a very high net worth area, high net worth zip code. and. Um, he discovered that one of his best referral sources was a tree trimming company, right? So, of course, people who have a lot of disposable income, who have large homes, who have big trees, like this honking tree in front of my house, this is an enormous oak tree, right, that costs a fortune to be able to trim. These kind of people who are in those kind of neighborhoods are gonna be his ideal clients because they're already spending a lot of money to upkeep their homes. They're probably gonna to wanna to do some remodels, some maintenance, and some building, okay? So when you're looking at your marketing calendar for the coming year or the coming months, make sure that you don't overlook what is your host beneficiary strategy. How can you use this to be able to get free marketing and grow a consistent and quality flow of potential clients so you can do what you do best, which is create amazing architecture and have fun. As always, Enix Sears here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave your comment below. Let me know if you already use this strategy, what's working for you, and what you think about the host beneficiary strategy. And as always, I'll see you soon. Carpe 
DM.